The cards can reveal things that you will never see by yourself. Call me now for your free tarot reading. Call me. Well, I don't know whether to be scared that uh, psychic screwed over this guy, and not, and I'm not surprised at that, or that his girlfriend put a witch's curse on him. So, before we get uh, to the story, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video, hit that notification bell, and uh, switch it to all. We'll, you'll get all of our notifications here on Man Man with the Show and, and Cutie Cast TV. So here's something from the uh, Madman Files. California man sues psychic who said he could remove witch's curse his ex placed on him. Wow. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Again, I don't know what's worse, that his, his girlfriend was able to put a witch's curse on him or that he paid money to get a psychic to remove it. You know, you tell me. But uh, reading a little bit of this, and this came off the New York Post. A California man is suing a Los Angeles psychic he paid for fraud because she allegedly claimed that she could remove a witch's curse put on him by his ex-girlfriend for $5,100. That's trouble in itself already. Last month, Mauro Resprito found a psychic, Sophie Adams' website, that billed her as a PhD life coach and psychic love coach, according to the City News Service in Los Angeles. This made the plaintiff more confident that he was speaking with a professional that could help him. The lawsuit filed Friday in the Torrance Supreme Court slated. Adams gave Representative a tarot reading when she visited her office in Palos Verdes Estates and told him that a mala su suedre or bad luck put there by his girlfriend when she hired a curse-catching witch. Adams alleged that claimed that his family would be unhappy and in danger unless he paid $5,100 to remove the curse that the news service reported. Respiro reported that Adams paid a $1,000 deposit, but she didn't help in any way uh, his marriage, the lawsuit said. Uh, Respiro says that he had suffered anxiety, sleepless nights, and suing for intentional neglect inf infliction of emotional distress, along with negligence and civil conspiracy. He is asking for $25,000 in damages. The lawsuit also names Adam's business psychic love specialist by Sophia, her, her husband, her daughter, and her landlords for the business, arguing that they all knew she was using her position to take advantage of clients, but did nothing to stop her. The new service reported. Um, let me tell you something. There are strange things in the world that goes on, obviously. There are things we can't explain. If you are depressed, if you're out there that need help, get some real help. Going to a psychic and paying them extravagant amount of money to figure out that you're depressed, that there's something wrong to the situation. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Doesn't help you. You're going to stay depressed. You know, the, the, these are con artists. They, this, these psychics are con artists. And if your ex-girlfriend did put a curse on you, you know, how much did she pay to do that? Uh, she was getting scammed as well. You know, whether you believe in that or not. And, you know, I know people who believe in that stuff. You know, where I live, there are people, as they say, that does this kind of work. That's the one thing about being in this area for as long as I've lived. You hear these stories and you've seen situations like that. This go on on there because there is a underbelly, uh, dark place in some of these cities. And there are those who do play around with the mystic arts. And that's one thing, um, knowing from some people that I know, they say never tamper with those. Never mess with those. But in this case... You know, this is someone going through family issues. And the thing about it is, go out and get real help. Go out and talk to people. You know, get some advice. You know, if you're going to, sp you, if you're going to spend that much money, you might as well spend it on a psychiatrist. 
you know, psychics, PhDs, uh, you know, where do you go to get a psychic PhD? I, I want to know that myself. Call me now for your free tarot reading. You know, I mean, th this has been happening for many decades. You hear this thing, you know, the, gyp the gypsy lores and then the psychics, the telepsychic, as they we used to have many years ago on public access TV. Uh, you know, there was a time, let's tell you, when I worked at public access TV, the studio we were at, uh, they did telephone psychics and they had a lot of them, a lot of them to the point where even Saturday night live, um, basically, I mean, Saturday night live did a bit about one of the people who actually it was two of the people. Uh, it was done early on with Dan Aykroyd. And later on, it was done with somebody else in one of the other seasons. Um, I'm trying to remember who it was on there. But anyway, you know, they did it. They did it twice. They did it twice. I mean, they even made fun of the adult stuff. I mean, they did a whole bit. It was, it was the cable access awards. And that, that was really funny in itself. But, you know... This is the stuff that's been going on for a long time. And, you know, I, I, you know, people are gullible, you know, that they do these situations. I mean, if you're out there, you have situations, you're depressed and stuff like that. Go get real help. You know, don't pay money to a psychic to read your palm or stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a money thing. It's always a money thing with them. You always got to be careful. But another crazy story from the madman files so thank you for tuning in don't forget to hit that like subscribe share and uh we'll see you on the next one thank you for tuning in and bye bye now is this the way it happened was jack the ripper in fact a 60 foot sea serpent from scotland did i take this job for a quick buck we may never know the answer to these questions next